Welcome, welcome. Today in the hot seat, we have a brand new cheapo from Amazon. That's right, Amazon's latest smart meter, the Neotech A25. Here we are, the Neotech 825. Your smart digital multimeter has AC-DC voltage resistance, AC-DC current, non-contact voltage. Um, yeah, it is, you know, fairly loaded little little uh, device. Now, it is very lightweight, I gotta say. Even with the batteries in, two AAA cells, it is still uber light. And it doesn't have one of those rubberized boots, so it's a little slippery. Just be wary of that. Not much in the box. You get your test leads and your tiny little Neotech user manual with the lowdown on all of the goodness. Different languages, of course, um, but hey, I mean, it's a basic meter, albeit a smart one, at a cheap price. This costs around $15 US, so heh, it is cheap. Flashlight and NCV are located right at the top. That is a pretty bright flashlight. In automatic mode, it can only measure the AC-DC voltage, resistance, that's it, that's all. So you are limited in auto mode. Also, when I said it is AC-DC current, that is milliamps only, low current only, up to 400 milliamps. Here we are with the backlight on the meter. Now the backlight only stays on for about 30 seconds or so. So it's, you know, at least it's got a backlight. Um, font is a little chunky funky, but it's it's not bad. Only 4,000 count display resolution. So it's not gonna wow you in that department, but you know, it, it, it's okay. It's a tiny bit of fading or ghosting when you bring it in on an angle. And it always helps if you take off that protective layer. So yeah, once again, uh, the display is okay. It does ghost or fade when you're on an angle. Um, but yeah, it's cheap. By the way, those test probes, they are a tiny uh, small, at least for my hands. Here's the standard uh, probe. And yeah, you can see there's yeah, a bit of a difference. So uh, mm. anyway, small probes are not really that sharp, um, but uh, cat, f cat two, 600 volts and this does 600 volts AC-DC. If you want to override that smart mode, just hit the select button and bada boom bada bing, you are now in manual mode. Volts DC, volts AC, resistance, continuity, milliamps, low current, AC-DC. So now back into auto mode. So at least we do have that override into manual and that is a good thing. Hey, December's coming up. Oh, and it is one of my favorite times of the year. Yes, it's Christmas. It's the time of all things green and sparkly and red too. Ah, uh, hey, guess what? Keepontesting.com, visit the website. It is awesome. We have all sorts of cool stuff here. Into meters, electronics, definitely put it on your short list. We have some great bloggers, including Paul Taylor, who does some amazing stuff on keepontesting.com. Check it out. Some great articles, stuff you won't see anywhere else. Join. The membership, yes, it's completely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. It takes like two seconds. Sign up at keepontesting.com and you can win a multimeter. Two, possibly three giveaways in December for all members of keepontesting.com. Stay tuned. Now, winners will be announced December 24th, Christmas Eve. I love it. Now, one thing that really sucks is it has no tilt stand, no tilt stand, no magnet, no way to hang this thing. It's going to be sitting on the floor. I don't like that. Why? Oh, why? Please give us something, something. We need something. If you're going to give us a tilt stand, give us a magnet, anything. Ah. Oh. And look at that 5.00 volt on that precision reference. Oh, good stuff, Neotech. Size-wise, it is small. It's not the smallest. There's definitely much smaller, but hey, it is definitely pocketable. Remember, this only does up to 100 milliamps sitting in milliamp mode right now. 100 milliamps with that precision reference. And look at that, 100 milliamps. Good stuff. All right, we're in auto mode right now. Let's just check AC. Now, it does stipulate that this is a true RMS meter. So normally with the DMM Check Plus, um, basically speaking, an average responding uh, multimeter when measuring a 5-volt RMS square wave will display around 5.5 volts, what have you. Uh, a proper true RMS meter will display around 5 volts. So that being said, let's see what we get. And coming at 4.98 volts AC. So mm, that's looking pretty good to me. 
Okay, we're in resistance mode now. Let's see how well it does. 100K. Whoops, there we are. 100K. Hey, that's not bad. 10K. Ooh, looking good. 1K. Wow, nice. Finally, 100 ohm. Hey, not too shabby. Okay, it's Jared on time going in for a deeper look. Uh, back of the meter, no shielding. There's the two connectors that make contact with the PCB terminal uh, for the battery. There you go. You know, not bad quality plastics. I've got to say the molding and everything is pretty decent all around. Yeah, that is it. That's all. Look at that. Split variety input jacks. Wow, wow. We don't have any PTCs or mobs. What to speak of? Uh, we have resistor clamp, diode clamps, uh, but pretty basic stuff. Now, remember, this does do low current only. And there here is our current sensing resistor right there. So, uh, yeah, 400 milliamps. That'll be just fine. On top of that, we have our big honking speaker and our cobbed CPU. Yeah, not really much to say. Um, check out that LED for the flashlight. And whoa, that is a nice big filament for the NCV. I always find when it comes to non-contact voltage, filaments just do the trick. They just perform so much better than that embedded PCB style um, or even the wires. I mean, just having that big filament makes a big difference. Anyway, there you go in a nutshell. Tiny, tiny PCB, pretty thin as well. So, eh, alrighty, put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the tiny little Neotech A25 from Amazon. Oh yeah, why not? It's a decent little smart meter. Okay, it's not gonna wow you. It's nothing, you know, uber cool. And we've seen smart so many times now, it's almost a blase. But that being said, it's cheap, it's accurate, and it's, you know, it's kind of fun to use. Has really decent NCV as well, which is always a bonus when it comes to these El Cheapo meters, because man oh man, it's much better, at least to me, than using one of those crazy wall pens. Now it doesn't do capacitance, it doesn't do diode, that might be a turn off for somebody, uh, but you know what? It doesn't have a tilt stand either, and that really ticks me off. Boy, put a magnet or a tilt stand on this, and you just gained another star. Still end of the day, if you want something you can throw in your pocket and just have fun with, something that's accurate that can do the basics, this might be exactly what you're looking for. The Neotech A25 Smart Cheapo Multimeter gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.